Hey! Any fast shit is the 13th of September, 2019. And there's a few things uh, I need to share with you that have been shown to us here the last few days. Um, this, this cargo ship that's stranded down in Georgia, there's a lot of interesting things about this, this ship. I mean, seriously, the golden ray. But most interestingly is is how it is stranded literally right off the beach of Jekyll Island, where the Federal Reserve was basically conjured up back in 1913. So I'm keeping an eye on that because that cargo ship is not being moved anytime soon. And there's some interesting things going on with that. But other than that, I wanted to share this stuff with you. It's very, very interesting to me. Friday the 13th today, right? And I mentioned in a video last week that the Freedom Tower, as of today, is 1,776 days old. Okay, today, Friday the 13th, USA. Now, people should understand this, that these powers and principalities do everything in concordance with their numbers right out in the open while mocking the rest of the world that doesn't know their little secrets. You know what I mean? But the USA was actually known as the United Colonies of America until they officially made it the United States of America. And coincidentally, the USA, numerically, if you reduce it down, is a 311. The Freedom Tower, 1776 feet tall, was officially opened on 11 3 2014. Okay? 1776 days ago. Just think about this, and the, the Obama beam is in the top of that building that he signed, and he signed it on the 12th of June, 2014, which is 1919 days ago, interestingly enough, and it was on George H.W. Bush's 90th birthday that the beam was signed. And another extremely interesting tidbit, I saw this in the comments, I forget your name, but thank you for this. The Illuminati, which is absolutely real because the devil works right out in the open and he just counts on you not seeing him because it's just too outlandish to believe that there are men that would purposely perpetrate these types of diabolical things on their fellow man. Well, you better believe it because you're in a spiritual war and the devil is your enemy. They destroyed the twins to put up the 1,776-foot-tall Freedom Tower. You understand? And the Illuminati are, as of today, 88,888 days old. 1776 is 888 times 2. It goes on and on, you guys. And not to mention, we have a full harvest moon tonight, which is 10 days before the fall. On 923, the two year anniversary of the Revelation 12 sign. This is all relevant, you know what I mean? This is particularly interesting. Netanyahu, the other day, made an announcement that he plans on annexing the Jordan Valley. He made the announcement on the 10th, interestingly, but the Jerusalem Post didn't post it until 1 30 in the morning on the 11th. Not by accident. He shows what he wants to do here. All this blue is Israel's potential annexing. And this orange, surrounded by the blue, is Jericho. Right? They're not going to touch Jericho. Well, that matches up almost perfectly to Joshua. Then they crossed the Jordan and subsequently took Jericho. Right? That's what they did. Eventually, they surrounded Jericho, right? Just like they have Jericho surrounded here. <laughs> and he makes the announcement seven days before the election on the 17th. And in Joshua, at Jericho, they put seven priests before the ark with seven trumpets of ram's horns. They circled the city for seven days. And on the seventh day, they circled it seven times. They blew the seven trumpets and put out a great shout and the walls fell. And the fall comes up on 923. 
I just find this incredibly interesting stuff, you guys. Now, this is another interesting thing. 9-11, right? These articles that they put out. Did you know that Israel, of all places, Israel has more 9-11 memorials than anywhere else in the world outside of the United States? Why? Well, they tell us it's because they have a covenant of suffering that both of our countries have suffered terrorist attacks when it was Israeli elements that did 9-11. The fact of the matter is we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Our purpose was to document the event. I mean, just think of how diabolical this is. And they put this article out on the 10th, but they put it out at 11.54 a.m. 9-11. There's no accident here. Why does the tiny little country of Israel have 13 memorials? Because it's a mocking. It's their memorial to their father, the devil. Just in your face. Think about that, man. So he's going to take this Jordan Valley. Jericho is going to be surrounded, right? Do you remember there was a television show called Jericho that ran back from 2006 to 2008? It was a television program where 23 United States cities were nuked. <laughs> Think about this. Jericho, the fall of the walls, and all these numbers that relate to it. But between the time the last show of Jericho aired and to the election, the 17th, we're talking about Jericho, 4,193 days. And, and if you look in the concordance, 4193 in the Hebrew is simply death. Death. Twice they even put it in there. Death. Used only one time in Ezra 726. And if we go from the beginning of this show, Jericho, which will be exactly 13 years as of the 20th, we go to the 23rd of September, the fall begins. It's exactly 4200 days or 600 weeks, the age of Noah when the floods came, and 600 throughout the Bible is a number of judgment, and 42 we all understand to be the number of the Antichrist, the fall of Jericho. This is just crazy stuff, you guys. And then we have the peace plan to release soon after the election, right as we watch the 74th UN General Assembly come together in New York City, during that UN assembly, they're going to have their 70-nation Sanhedrin conference. Think about that. Where they will do a sacrifice on the Mount of Olives on the 26th of September. And this is the plan. The Noahide laws being put into effect and enforced. So, there's a ton of stuff to share as usual, but... I just had an inkling this morning to put out this little spattering of, of interesting things to you guys, and I pray it blesses someone. I really do. This is all relevant stuff. It all means something. So keep looking up. Keep prayed up. Keep armored up. And praise God, because time is short. You just can't get around this stuff, man. Peace of grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 